We're back at it once again, a year later at the Shangri-La. We're gonna keep this one short because we've already done a vlog. We're doing two nights instead of one, but we're also not in a suite this time because unfortunately they didn't have any available upgrades. Totally fine, I'm not complaining. Mm -hmm. I'd say we've got a better view this time. Yes, definitely. And we didn't need like the extra space. We didn't no. even spend that much time in the room. So for the weather, it's pretty much the same as last year's, unfortunately. We were hoping to hit the pool to start our staycation, but it's nice and gloomy outside. Hopefully the sun comes out to play at least for a little, just so we can actually go into the pool this time. And this time also their breakfast is not gonna be served at the summit room in the valley wing we actually go to the line which is a buffet and because we are officially fully vaccinated today we will be allowed to go into the restaurant and dine in otherwise you would only be able to do in-room dining which isn't bad it's just you don't get as many options so i actually told asked the lady um, who checked us in what would you recommend? And she's like, you guys are fully vaccinated. Do the line, mm -hmm. more options. So that's what we're doing. We'll definitely film that. Mm -hmm. But uh, for now, check out the uh, setup we've got. Yes. Places. This is exactly where we were last year pretty much every single time we came down for like uh, high tea or drinks So we officially could say that we have our own little spot We've always said that all of our staycations are pretty close to home. In this case, it came in handy because we forgot to pack contact solution. It would have made sense, I guess, to buy some on Orchard, but we just bought like a huge pack of them. And uh, we were like, well, might as well go back because there are other things we could grab. We made the best out of this trip, um, but now we're gonna head back to Orchard. Very exciting times right now. This is the first time we've been able to dine out since... Past month? One month? Yeah, it's been over a month. So we decided on a place called Sushiro. Uh, Chantal, you said that you're... Students. Yeah. Tell me about it. So we're here. Usually there's a queue. It's uh, located inside the Shaw Center. So it's within the Isetan department store. Convenient, found it. And uh, from here, we'll just walk back to Shangri-La after we're done. So far we've ordered what, like 10 pieces? Something like that? Yeah. Um, most of it has arrived. It's perfect because it's two each. All right, I think everything came out. We got some salmon skin here. We also got some ramen, little noodle action, and like a bunch of sushi. We've already, like, it, I think it's only been like 10 minutes, but we've pretty much devoured everything already. Uh, we're reordering a few of our favorites. What, what's been your favorite so far? Salmon. The spicy mayo? Spicy mayo salmon, so we ordered another one of those. Uh, Chantal's about to eat the unagi. That one we ordered another because I love unagi. New discovery for us. They have a special value on the fatty, fatty tuna. Which, it's good fat, right? It's fish. But it just melts in your mouth, so we ordered two more of those. <laughs> is hands down the winner right there. And so is that, because that's the exact same thing. in the 
power wing. Um, and last time we were here, what, what did we have that was different? There was a huge display of uh, dinosaurs made out of chocolate. Yeah, and uh, they're gone now, but um, we saw these really cool pillars, and Chantal was like, it'd be funny if these were actually chocolate. Well, it turns out they are chocolate. <laughs> Here's a reason why you should not put your Do Not Disturb on. We're about to head back downstairs to grab some drinks. We're gonna try and go outside because it's pretty damn cold in the uh, lobby. So we'll see if there's any space available and we're just gonna chill. Let's go. but so that's all good. Heading over to the line in the tower wing. So we just uh, finished some breakfast and wandered a little bit around the property, stayed in the room and just hung out for a bit and it's uh, nice and sunny so we're off to the pool. Let's go! got some additional security, temporary construction of security in front of the uh, Shangri-La um, all around and I have a very good feeling it's because the vice president is going to be staying at the Shangri-La. Vice president of the United States, so Kamala Harris. We just um, asked the guest agent and she basically said Yes, it is for a very, very special guest. So I imagine that it is indeed the Vice President of the US. So we just got back to the hotel. We went for a massage and then we had dinner, a little bit of dim sum at Imperial Treasure. And now we're back at the hotel, having a few drinks. Then we'll head up, run a bath, and call it a night. So we'll just uh, wrap it up here. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.